Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing an update on my Shop My Stash from January and then I'm going to be picking out new products for, well, March. Uh, if you've seen my most recent videos, you know I was sick for most of February, so we did not get to a Shop My Stash in February, but that's okay. We are getting back into the swing of things and hopefully the sickies will stay away from me because I am tired of being sick. So I do already have a full face of my Shop My Stash products, so I'm going to go through and review them. I really like to be kind of cutthroat with Shop My Stashes and come to a decision as to whether I feel like it's worth it or not. And there are just so many products out there. It's You really have to be when you're reviewing products, like a final decision, it would, would I get this or not? And if it's more of a maybe, then who would it be best for? Because I feel like that's really the purpose of watching Shop My Stashes and review videos. If you guys want to see something different from them, always let me know in the comments because, um, right, they're for you. So that's why I do that. All right, so first I'm going to dig in with primer. And P.S., not loving my face today because of some of the products that I used. I had two products for primer that I do not have with me today. One was a quench tart primer, like hydrating primer water. It was fine. It reminded me of the Smashbox primerizer. I would definitely purchase the Smashbox one over the tart one. It was a little mini one and I think I used it up when I was away and I must have thrown it away there. And then the one that I've been using since I've been back is the Cover FX Calming Primer. This was not in my Shop My Stash, but I've been using it, so I thought I'd give it a little review. This one also reminds me very much of the Smashbox Primerizer. It's got a little bit thicker of a consistency, but I think they perform very similarly. So if you could get this on a sale, then I think it would be worth purchasing. Otherwise... I would stick to my, I, I just really like the primerizer. It's probably my number one base primer that in the Laura Geller spackle. So I don't, I wouldn't go looking for this, but let's say it's in a BoxyCharm pop-up sale. I don't know that it's going to be. Um, I just recently found some goodies in there. So that's why I mentioned that. Then it would be a good one to get. It's not a horrible primer. Let's move on to foundation and powder. For foundation, I had the Maybelline uh, super stay full coverage one. I don't really like this one. I feel like it's got some separation on my skin. Um, I felt like the first time that I gave it a go, I felt that this to shop my stash, I would not repurchase it. If it, if you want one similar to this that has a better staying power, I would recommend the, uh, this is Maybelline. So what is it? L'Oreal. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte is what I would recommend. Didn't like that at all. And then I also tried the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow one. The only thing with this one is it is a darker shade. So I can't try it just on its own right now. Although I may do that just to see if I like it or not. I tried it with the Tarte, what is it? Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. This is in my, this is in my project pan. And I don't know if it's going to stay in my project pan or if it's going to get thrown away. I have not liked my face once since I've used it this year. I tried it with the Hello Flawless one because it was a little bit darker of a color. And this one is super light. And the Hello Flawless helped it look a little less bad. So I would like to try that product on its own. But I don't have a full review of it on its own just because it's too dark for me to wear right now. Then for powders, uh, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Loose finishing powder. I don't really like this one. I feel like I have so many other ones that are so much better. I would not repurchase this and I don't really even tend to go go toward it. Uh, the only reason I used it this past couple weeks is because it's been in my shop, my stash. Otherwise, I would have continued using like my Pretty Vulgar setting powder, uh, my Urban Decay Velvetizer. What's another one? I just got the Ciate London one in a boxy charm and that one's a lot more finely milled as well. This one just looks kind of cakey and powdery on the skin, I think. And then the other one that I had is the Luxury Baking Powder in Lace from Revolution Beauty. I'm still, still figuring out my thoughts on this. I really want to find a drugstore line or a more affordable brand of a setting powder that I like. Because, you know, the ones that I listed are all more high-end and more expensive. So I'd like to have something on the lower price range and to be able to recommend to you guys. So I'm still figuring out my thoughts on this one. I would just not recommend this one. I know a lot of people love that Fit Me, but I think now that I've used so many 
powders that I love so much more, it's going to be hard for me to pick one that is that just doesn't look as good. For bronzer, I had in here the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation in Regular. I've been using this as a bronzer because my skin is so pale right now, and I think it gives such a good a good color to the skin without looking really bronzed or orange. It's got a more neutral undertone, but that marbling effect also has some of the under other undertones to it. So it just gives a really good balanced tone to the skin. I really, really enjoyed this and I think I'm gonna keep this out for the rest of the winter when I'm a lighter skin tone and I would repurchase this in the future. I like it. The first highlighter I have is the Ciate London Confetti Highlighter. I also got this from a BoxyCharm box. Here's what it looks like. It's so pretty. And I would have to say that this is very similar to the Molten Gold Maybelline Highlighter. I really like this one. I think it could look pretty on a lot of different skin tones. And then the other highlighter I tried was this Butter London on the Glow Pen. This I got, I think, in a FabFitFun box. Um, it is like the highlighter powder is down there and then it comes off on this little pen tip here. I didn't use it today. I'm actually going to use it for you guys so you can see. I'm just going to put this on the inner corner. So it's definitely a yellowy highlighter so it goes good with this eye look. But it's just perfect for the little inner corner. I don't think I'd go out and purchase it because obviously you could use any highlighter that you already have with a small brush, but it's a good little on the go inner corner highlight. You could probably use it with your finger for, for your cheeks. I don't think I would use the applicator for that because I think it would give too much of a chunky highlighter effect to it. The first blush that I had is this another Ciate London one that I also got from a BoxyCharm box. This is the Melted or Marbled Light in Halo. It is what I'm wearing today. And I also have, I have this highlighter on today. I have that bronzer on today. I used this powder today. Um, so yeah, this is the blush that I have on today. I think it's a perfect, just kind of skin tone blushed look to it. It's kind of that mauve look. I think it's really pretty. I probably wouldn't go purchase however much that one costs but I do think that it's a pretty blush because I think you can get affordable ones for cheaper. So just a couple more things to review and then we'll get into picking out new products. I tried the Dragon Beauty Concealer. What is it? It's that orangey red one, Skin Perfecting Potion. I really, really wanted to like this and I don't. I feel, okay. So I use the Benefit Boing Concealer in the little pot. It's the salmon color correcting one. And the consistency and pigment of it are amazing. I can use it on its own, not have to set it. It just gives kind of a dewy under eye, but cancels out some of the purplish color. And then to go to this, this does leave color on the under eye, so you do need to go in with a concealer. So now, by the time you've got this and your concealer on, you're really building up and making it a little more cakey. Let's see how we look today. And to me, it gives like a, a little bit darker of an under eye color because it is so dark. Maybe this would work better on darker skin tones, but for lighter skin tones, I think it's just too deep. And I know it's supposed to be for all skin colors, just didn't work out for me. If you guys got that in your BoxyCharm box, I would love to know what your thoughts were on it. I was really excited to try it out and now I'm not. And I only used like two little dots from this so I may end up putting that in a giveaway too because it's, I, I don't foresee me using that in the future. And by the way, I did film this look today. I forgot to tell you guys that. I did film it. It is either the video that just went up or it's the one coming right after this. So in love with this eye look. Maybe I did already say that. All right, next we've got brow or concealer. So I've been using this Julep one. It is not my favorite concealer. I would not repurchase it. There are definitely like the Smashbox uh, 24 hour one I like a lot better. The, the ColourPop one I like better. The ColourPop hydrating one. The Bare Minerals Serum one I like better. There's just a lot of concealers I like better than this that I wouldn't go out and repurchase this again. I don't feel like it did anything for my under eyes. And this is the, what is this one? 
Uh, cushion complexion. Five in one skin perfecter with turmeric. Don't really know what that's supposed to do, but didn't like it. Uh, for eyeshadow primer, I had out my glitter primer and my Lorac eyeshadow primer. Love, love, love my Lorac eyeshadow primer. One of my favorites. I used the glitter one today and I have to say, let's look at it. There is like minimal transfer of this shimmer shade on to my upper lid. I think I'm going to have to keep trying that glitter one out more with my regular eyeshadows to see if that's a consistent thing that happens. All right, then for brows, I use the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This one is okay. It's got the little brow pencil on one side and it's got the pin on the other side. I would like this one a lot more if this pencil were thicker. I don't like the really, really thin pencil ones. And then if I were able to go in with this and use it to just darken up some of the spaces that were still there. I mean, it's what I use today and I think my brows look pretty good. I just felt like it takes a little more effort than some of the thicker brow products that I use, so I would not repurchase it. And then I've been using the Billion Dollar Brow Brow Gel. This brow gel is just fine. My brows are staying in place and that's not always the case and they're not real like thick and chunky or anything. So overall, I think that brow gel is pretty good. I like my Benefit one as well, so I wouldn't go out of my way to to find a billion dollar brow product to purchase that. That is all the products that I've been using with a review of them. So now I'm gonna get you guys up close to my desk and we are gonna pick out Shop My Stash products for March. All right, so I've got you guys set up here at my desk. Um, like always, I've got my project pan items here so you guys can see what I am panning. So let's start with blushes. I have gained a blush since the last time, this hourglass one. Oh, you guys, I absolutely love that blush. <laughs> so let's put back the Seattle London one. Um, in my project pan, I have a coral one, so I'm not going to pick a coral one right now. Oh, what have I? Actually, I haven't used this Laura Geller one in a while, so I think I'm going to pull that one out. And then, you know what? I have not used this at all. This is a Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold, but for me... It would be more of a blush topper. So I'm gonna try that out as a blush topper this time as well. And then next we have highlighters. So I am putting back my Ciate London one and my Butter London one. And I'm definitely pulling out this Too Faced Diamond Highlighter. So pretty. Uh, I've been wanting to pull that one in. Do I wanna pull in another one? I've also got my fresh one here that I really haven't been using at all because I've been using the other one. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that this time. So we're just pulling in the Too Faced one. And then I've got my fresh one here. Now for brows, I've got these two and I've got my backups here. What am I putting back? My brow blade I'm putting back and the brow gel. So what am I going to take out? You know what? I want to try this one. I talked about this in my last one. This is the brow endowed. So this one has got a little primer on one end. How cute is that? And then it's got the color on the other end. So I'm going to give that one a try. What do I have in here that I haven't used in a while? Is there anything in there? Oh, precisely my brow pencil. What I'm going to pull out is my Clinique one. I would love to start getting this down a little further. This is in Honey, so this is the Clinique Brow Keeper. So I'm going to pull that into the mix as well. And then next up is eyeshadow primers. So I'm going to keep out the glitter primer because I want to try that more with regular eyeshadow and see how the transfer is to it. Putting the Lorac one back, we'll try Bare Mineral. So this is the Primetime Eyeshadow Primer, so I'm going to give that a try as well. I don't think I've ever used that. So that'll be interesting to see what that's like. And down to the next drawer, I have got my foundation. So we're putting back... This Maybelline Fit Me. Um, I'm going to put this one back until I have a little bit more of a tan so I can see what I really think about that. Hmm, what do I want to try? These I think are both darker. Oh, this is an O2 Light. The Big Easy from Benefit. Maybe I'll pull that forward. 
And I think I'm going to try this Clinique one. I want to say this was a free gift with purchase. Why do my foundations look so low? I feel like I have a ton of them. Maybe I've been using up foundations. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, so yeah, we're going to give this one a try. This I have got in alabaster, so that should be a good color for me as well. Now for setting powders, definitely putting this one back. I'm going to pull up the Ciate London one. I just got this from a BoxyCharm box and I want to try it out. It is the coconut setting powder. I've got my Urban Decay one out right now and I've got a Bare Minerals one out right now. So I think that's all I'm going to pull out for now is that Ciate London one, so I'm not trying to use too many in the next couple weeks. We're like flying through this. Actually, I'm going to keep this one out too and just try it a little bit more to get a good read on what I think of it. For concealer, I'm definitely putting both of these back. And I want to try this Boing one, so I'm going to take this out. This is the Benefit Cakeless Concealer. I'm obsessed with that packaging. How cute is that? I have this in number two, so we'll see how that one does. And then I'm also going to take out this CoverGirl one. I am almost to the end of it, and I would just really like to finish it up. So I'm going to try to finish that one up this round. So those are the two I'm going to take out. And then I've also got my Smashbox one in my project pan and my Benefit, the Salmon color correcting one. Moving on to primers. Oh boy. Do a lot of primers in here, huh? Okay, well I definitely want to pull this one out and try it. This is the Timeless Smoothing Primer from Tarte. Um, so let me show you what that looks like. This is what it looks like. I want to say it's kind of similar to the Tatcha one, but we'll try that out and see what that's like. That was another free gift with purchase from Ulta. For now, maybe I'll try this Becca one. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. So I have never used this. So we'll pull that one in. Oh, how pretty is that? We'll pull that one in as well. And that's good for primers. All right, now for lashes. So I'll be putting my ColourPop ones back, but not till I'm done using them today. And then I think I want to try these burger ones out a little more. So these are from Glam Light. So I'm going to pull the burger lashes out. Oh, look how sad. My Lashaholic ones. Oh, I really need to go through and do a declutter of all this stuff that is sitting up here. Are there any I haven't tried? Let's throw these Lily lashes in. So these are the Faux Mink in Miami. So we'll put these into my Shop My Stash as well. That seems like kind of a small shot my stash, but oh, you know what? We didn't do bronzer. I don't think I don't think I have any other bronzer that I want to use right now. I'm just going to keep this Laura Geller Brighten Balance and Brighten bronzer out. So that's everything. This is what we're shopping the stash with this month. So this is what I am going to be trying out for the next couple weeks. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this Shop My Stash. Please let me know if you like this format of me just reviewing them and then picking out new ones or if you like the format where I try them on as I review them. So I would love that feedback from you guys. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.